Welcome to another episode of Locals Only. We are here at Pacific Moon, one of my favorite restaurants in San Antonio. We're here to talk with Mama Han Olmsted. Uh, she has provided us with a great spread of food to check out today and just hear about her unique story, how she started off her business as a nice little coffee house in 1998 and how that has turned into one of San Antonio's favorite local spots. Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> Where did you first get your uh, your uh, your desire to cook, right, and, and your love for cooking? Where did that come from? Oh, it's it just it's exciting. I miss it when we're not uh, traveling. I trying to remember the what was it and what the taste like. I started like creating creating a little bit away, but sometimes we don't have a stuff. So you had to, we have you had to, to add your own. In own there. Yeah, it, it is in there. And then, then also in being in Asian, and I like soy sauce a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so I use the soy sauce a little bit, and then, you know, the, the something I have in, in my house. Yeah. So I develop own way. And then, then we have people coming over. Doesn't looks like we are Korean food. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look like, like, like American you're food. Like, you're like you're in for a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, back when we started, uh, it, you, you opened up your doors in uh, in like 1998. Um, basically, Pacific Moon is much more than its food, Mama. Uh, your inviting presence makes each of us feel home, at home every time we walk in the door. From when we first opened back in 1998 as a coffee shop until today as one of San Antonio's favorite local spots. Uh, could you please take us on a journey as far as how uh, Pacific Moon turned in from the Pacific Moon coffee shop in Delhi to Pacific Moon that we know today? Can you guys, can you give us a little uh, history lesson? Yes, uh, we, uh, we opened 1998. I, I developed art the uh, the food, the menu item, just a little bit of, uh, each time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, 1999, I got tired of uh, eating all the leftover food. <laughs> 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 My kids are like, we had a chicken salad sandwich. Oh, okay. Before. So it wasn't the same food as there is today. No. Mm -hmm. Because people weren't buying it all. I got yeah, so... People come in and they look. And they want we open seven o'clock in the morning. They want breakfast taco. We want this and want that. But I don't have all that. But after we close business, and then we eat normal family food. So we cook mm -hmm. in the coffee shop. So we have family um, a dinner. And my son happened to be going to uh, high school. He was playing baseball. And we start cooking for family meal. We sit down and people accidentally stop uh, by to say, oh, we closed. But they look at us, what are you guys eating? <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Like, it's on the menu. I say, no, it's not. It's just we're eating a family dinner. Yeah. And then they look and then my son, happened to at offer to have a bite and then he asked me can I have a that for tomorrow and and then I go oh it's not on the menu but but I want exactly like this yes. the way your son eating okay. and then they say okay so the next day and then he comes, uh, can you make that thing you had uh, last night? And then I go, oh, uh, yes, we can. And yeah. then, in, but I wanted to go. I say, yes, you can have it to go. So is it the next building? So he walked out with the, the, that dish, uh, dish <laughs> and he eat from over 30 people in the, yeah. at his gym. And then all the people working over. out and start smelling and they said, where do you get that? Where do you get that? And then, then all the people coming here and ask him, I should have uh, that thing. What thing? Chicken thing. Something chicken. Something chicken. Uh -huh. So the, all the bodybuilder people cannot eat 
uh, red meat because they're training, they need a lot of egg, they need the brown rice, they need the chicken, they want the broccoli, you know. Yeah. So we customize uh, for those two months until they finish the contest. Well, this is well, this is this is I, I'm like this is a great story because it, it, it speaks to uh, how you treat your customers today. I know one of my favorite dishes here is the yu chicken. <laughs> yes. And the yu chicken is not a bowl; it's, mm -hmm. it's a plate. Yeah. But I get it as a bowl. I put vegetables and and that and that omelet on top, mm -hmm. and that's so now I know where so, the, where yeah, customers. Uh -huh. So so I it, I respect and that we appreciate that, that you guys have taken those those steps to individualizing. Uh, the condiments that you pass out to uh, not letting people sit next to each other. I mean, obviously, if you're in a group, you can take your mask off, but uh, keeping tables empty. But uh, uh, I've been in here and I, I've seen you, the support is overwhelming for you guys. It's it's one of the reasons that uh, it is very hard. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> it's right. very hard. Exactly. But now uh, people uh, notice how serious it is and then we still keep eye on them, you know. So you, you have to wear, but sometimes, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I say, I know you don't. So we provide everything for them. Yeah, so you, have, I've been in here, my mask broke. You, I came, give you, you, came out, you didn't give me one, you gave me a bag of them. She gave me like eight masks when one of mine broke. I was like, okay, okay. all right. What is it? You live in I the still, I still really that's nice. the one I'm using right now. Yeah, same color. <laughs> I know the American people like celebrate the birthday a lot. So I want my customer to have that moment. Especially if they come here on their birthday, right? Yeah, uh -huh. okay. yeah, because they choose, they have a lot of place to go, they have all kind of dessert viable, but they choose it here. Exactly. And then I appreciate it. So the giving them birthday cake is my honor. I still do that for a lot of customers. If uh, you you want something in your life, it's my opinion, you have to share a your heart and my heart. That's, That's the hard. relationship exactly. that you're sharing. Uh, I really want to thank you for the time well, that you've shared being with here. us. Thank uh -huh. you for letting yeah. us come in and talk to you. Uh, and if you haven't been to local, if you haven't if you haven't been to Pacific Moon, uh, I definitely suggest you try it out. It, it, I, I say this in my head earlier: uh, people that come here for the first time, it's definitely not their last time. They they almost every time will come back in again and again. Thank and you again. very much for being here uh, for sharing my story with you. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for joining us here with Pacific Moon. We hope you enjoyed the interview. While we're here to provide you with some information about the areas and the local uh, businesses that we're spotlighting, we also want to spotlight some of the market here in San Antonio. Pacific Moon is located in the 78232 area code. The average price point here is just over 320,000, guys. If you've been thinking about selling your home, if you've been looking in the area, maybe looking about buying, give me a call. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Check us out on the next one.